internet welcome back or welcome to my channel my name is Tori and today I have a three looks one palette video so for this three looks one palette I will be using the iHeart Revolution black cherry palette this is what the palette looks like so to me this is a like color story dupe for the Jeffree Star blood sugar palette so I'll be doing three looks with this palette, one red, one purple, and one randomly generated. So let me know in the future any palettes you want to see me do three looks on palettes with or palette bingos. I tend to pick those on my Instagram and put them up as polls and you guys all vote on it. Yeah, let me know which look is your favorite down below and uh, on with the first look. So today... I'm going to be filming look one with the iHeart Revolution Black Cherry Palette. So, this is what it currently looks like. This is what it currently looks like. Oh my gosh, this is what it looks like. It kind of gives me uh, Jeffree Star, he sh who shall not be named, uh, blood sugar vibes. Let's jump into it. Today I'm going to do a uh, red look. I do already have a white shade on my brow bone from a different palette but i am gonna go in with waft and put that waft that don't sound right it is waft though maybe i might be saying it wrong but i am gonna go in with that first however the brushes we have today since i'm doing this one out of order i have this weird mermaid brush from the dollar store i sometimes i don't use it i'm trying to still see if i can use it with certain stuff so this one's here I have my classic, my favorite e.l.f. blending eye brush. I have like four of these now. I love them. And then I have a random dual tart brush. So I'm going to go in first with the like, are these just called flat eyeshadow brushes? I'm going to go into waft, put a little color down. It's kind of a like pukey tan. Is that the nice? It's a cool tone tan. Uh, you know, if you're pale like me, be a little safe. It don't make you look like a corpse. I'm just putting it kind of in the crease to uh, get some pigment down. I'm gonna take now the other side and I'm gonna dip into compote. Com There's no accent mark. It's C-O-M-P-O-T-E. So compote, I don't know. I, I'm putting this in my crease either way. I'm gonna be lazy and do both of my eyes today because I have like two other videos to film after this. So... I'm trying to make my life a little easier. Just like by a millisecond. So, I keep saying millisecond today, anyway. So, for my outer corner, I'm gonna take a little bit of liquor and hot chocolate because liquor is a more like Bordeaux uh, type. Is that the right? I don't know. It's like a dark, whiny color. It's not that red tone, it has a little pits of little bits of purple in it while hot chocolate is more just like a deep dark chocolate brown so i'm gonna mix the two because ideally i would like a dark red but as you can see this is more of a wine color it's not a dark uh mid-tone red or like just like a it's not a straight up red you know i asked on instagram if y'all wanted to see red or purple first well, I just put a, I just did red or purple, and I took a picture of the palette. And uh, thank you, everyone, who uh, voted on that, because I didn't know what color I wanted to do first. So this made my life a little bit easier. As always, the second look will be a number-generated one. So that's going to be fun. So there are three shimmers that are red in this palette. We have Brandy in the corner. We have Cherry Soda right here. And then we have cheesecake that has a hint of gray. I think I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna go in first with brandy and I'm gonna try the mermaid brush. Well, this is what I call it. I don't know if it's a mermaid or unicorn brush, but let's see. Sometimes this brush doesn't play well with certain pigments. So yeah, it's not, it's kind of working. It's not doing its best. It's not the eyeshadow. It's 100% the brush um, as the helicopter goes over. Um, so I'm well aware it's not the eyeshadow's fault, and I want y'all to know that. This brush is one of my problem brushes. It's my problem child. But I, you know, even though it's broken in half and I duct taped it together, 
I, for some reason, am not willing to let go of it yet. Okay, I really like the shade Brandy. I kind of, I typically like doing a shade as a pop of color, but I kind of don't want to. I really like how this blended together, even though I did get some over here because I'm a hot mess. Um, I want to do an inner corner shade. I think I almost just had like a heart attack. Okay, my phone randomly quit recording and then said the video was deleted, but it's not. So let's continue this real quick since my phone is starting to act up. I do need a new phone. Makes sense why it's acting up. But anyway, I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go into Twistle. And it's kind of a like baby champagne pink, I guess would be the word to use it. Once again, because this brush is um bad, it should come up really, oh gosh, I need to clean my brush. That don't look light and airy and pretty. Um, The brush is cleared off. Time to fix what I did to this poor inner corner. Okay, let's try this again with a uh, clean and slightly damp brush. So I'm gonna get a little hard pan, but it's whatever. It's still, it's actually more pigmented than I thought it would be, but I'm happy it's no longer uh, brandy mixed with Twistle because I did not want a bright neon pink inner corner, you know? It is still looking bright, but I kind of really like it. Um, lower lash line, lower lash line. Do I want to do anything with you? I don't think I do. This is look one, definitely a red toned beauty. So this lip actually happens to match it. I didn't think it was going to, but that's very uh, nice that it does. Today we're doing look number two from the I Heart Revolution uh, Black Cherry Palette. This is the random number generated look. I feel like I look like a middle schooler with no eyeshadow on right now and my uh leopard pink headband that my mother bought me since this is you know the fuzzy headbands or the trend now she wanted to get me not one but two so <laughs> have that now brushes for today include the following this is a nyx high crease brush highlighter brush i forget what they market this as it's old the name's not even on there one of these elf just eyeshadow brushes like the cheap ones I have from the BH Cosmetics take me back to Brazil collection number six and I also have BH Cosmetics amethyst collection number not amethyst crystal zodiac collection number 11 we have 18 shades this is one this is 18 I'm gonna do four as always the first one is 14 so 14 is pun it Nice pretty champagne. Next is three. So three is frosty. Oh god, where is this going? <laughs> we already have... Am I getting a new look? Seven. Ah. Uh, three, four, five, six. Seven is... I don't know. Is that ganache? I don't know. The word looks familiar, but my brain can't comprehend it. Please don't tell me this is going to be all shimmer. Last one is fifth. Wait, I just realized pun it was 15, 18, 17, 16, 15, this was 14. So picked is technically the first one. <sighs> okay, I'm definitely rolling for a uh, fifth shade because I don't like that. Nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine is pi. Okay, um, additional fun fact, I have to do all this before my Zoom call starts at 9.45 and it's currently 6.13. 6.13, 9 oh my gosh, I'm tired today. Okay, um, first up to bat, pickled is going in my, ooh, actually no, pie is gonna go on my crease, the purple pie is gonna go on my crease. It's been a... I don't know, I feel like I just got hit by a truck this morning. It's just like one of those days where you wake up and you have like no energy. I woke up with a like headache. I haven't taken anything for it yet. I try to not take medicine for like headaches. So when I actually need it, I feel like the medicine's more effective. 100% could be like a placebo effect, but that's what I just do be doing. I didn't put any primer or nothing down today. Wasn't feeling it. 
Next, I'm going to put pickled in the outer corner. I just realized I, this is, I didn't bring, I meant to bring an other brush over here, but that, I clearly didn't do that. I've been meaning to film this video for a solid, like, two weeks. I wish I was joking. This was supposed to go up last month. But time has not been um, fun with me. I've put, like, time limits on my apps. And even though I put time limits, I'm still just wasting too much time on them. I've been having a weird cycle of figuring out stuff. <sighs> like, a weird cycle of figuring out how, how to best the time manage my day during this situation. I'm gonna take... Okay. I'm gonna put Frosty in my inner corner. Because I don't really want the gold on my lid. So, a little inner corner pop. I really do like this palette. I'm really happy my friend gave it to me. Next, I'm going to take ganache and I'm going to put that all over the lid. Watch me be pronouncing it wrong. Wait, since I said I was under a time crunch as I was filming this, I've been speed running this. This might be the shortest section for once. I'm so happy I'm allowed, I can wear mascara again. Talked about it in my empties video, but pretty much I thought a bunch of mascaras were like ripping out my eyelashes. No, it was a uh, liquid eyeliner. Now I learn I have to be careful with that liquid liner. And also it's just not a not a team player. I brought so many eyelid brushes because I honestly forgot which ones work best with this palette, but I'm pretty sure it's the ones like the one I'm currently using that are really flat, I guess is the word. Flat and like made with I don't know. I guess it's synthetic. I think all my brushes are technically synthetic because I don't buy I don't buy expensive brushes. You think I'm gonna use Punnett as a like pop in the uh, middle of my lid? I was gonna say in my inner corner, not my inner corner. I'm like, I'll brighten it a little bit. Give it a little dimension. I don't know. I'm just like, because of everything that's going on in this panoramic, I like myself dropped down to four classes this semester this semester which I haven't done since like my first year of college um so I thought I would have free time you know makes sense I've noticed I haven't really had free time if I do have free time I spend it doing this I started streaming on twitch on Thursday nights at eight and Sundays at six um, they're not PG and it's gaming. So fair warning, but I'm pretty sure that's always linked down below. Um, I think I'm going to put eye in my pie, sorry, in my lower lash line. And then obviously I'm still doing Etsy stuff, even though I haven't put too much new items on the Etsy, just because I want to like put up a, a bunch at once. That's still going. I'm doing the newspaper at my new school, got a job through the newspaper, and just applied for a position for next semester. So, it's been interesting to say the least. This is a look for these colors. Um, I need to blend this over here. I'm not liking how this is looking on me. Hold up. On camera, it's showing that line right there really harsh, but that's not what I see in person. Weird. Anyway, this is a look for this. For look number two, honestly, not too shabby. I was a little scared at first, but I think it looks pretty good. Look three with this same headband because I was too lazy to take it off. Let's just jump into it. I think I'm going to go for a more purple look today. I did the reds. I did the random. Now purple. The brushes for today include a Sigma E38. A BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil number five. There's a random wet and wild one. And then an e.l.f. blending eye brush. So I do already have something in my inner corner of my brow bone. So I'm just gonna take the Sigma brush and go into succulent. I don't feel like putting a base down for this look. I'm just gonna take this all in my crease.
I'm going to keep it like that for now. And then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. blending brush and go into liquor. I think overall from using this palette, I it's definitely not like... I don't know, I feel like some other palettes I have perform be better. I feel like the Mini Avocado palette performs better than this one from uh, I Heart Revolution. But I definitely don't think it's bad. I like the tones. It is a... it reminds me of uh, Jeffree Star Blood Sugar. My rabbit is eating bread. So, I... it was definitely a hole I had in my collection. And my friend gladly uh, gifted it to me. But the mats definitely need building. But it's not, you know, it's not like I'm scraping. I'm, it's fine, you know. Hmm, I'm really tired today. <laughs> Can you tell? I'm going to go back in with succulent just because, you know, it needs a little bit more pigment. Now, if I was using a different brush and was, like, patting it on, then maybe it would probably go better. Because this might be a pressed pigment. As you can see, it went on better from patting, so it's most likely a pressed pigment. I was thinking about this the other day because I saw a TikTok and I was like, the eyeshadow's not working, use a different brush. And I think that's probably the right assumption nowadays. I feel like we don't have that many bad eyeshadows. Like, yes, every once in a while, you know, we got the chalky stuff. But not all the time. Okay, I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics brush into uh, Pun It. Because I want to connect this. Sometimes I don't put it completely under my brow. But I feel like this look needs it. Because I think I got a little too much powder in it close to my eyebrows. Now for my uh, eyelid, I'm going to take Tipsy, and I think I'm going to do it, f um, oh, I'm also using the Wet n Wild brush, I think I'm going to put it from the center of my lid to the outer, I don't know, we'll see. I want to see how dark it is, because I don't want it to be too dark. Like when I use the flat shader like this, the pans do have like a hard time showing their pigment. But when I use the brush I used before, there's no hard times. Mm, I have to decide what summer classes I want to take for college. <sighs> Fun. And I'm going to try to take, I think I'm going to try to take four. Well, technically, I would only need to take three, but I think I'm going to take an extra one to be safe. Because I want to, like, stay ahead and make sure I could take four classes every semester. So, this is going to be fun. And then for the inner corner, I think I'm going to go in with Twizzle. I don't think this palette is, like, a necessity if you already have these color stories. But I do like it. I don't really know how I'm feeling about Tipsy. I think I'm just not in a... I'm not in too much of a pink mood. But I didn't want to use the purple shimmers. I wanted to switch it up. It looked like I never touched Tipsy before this. So... Maybe... Hmm. I'm going to Tipsy with my finger. Let me see. No, I think it's just the shade I'm not vibing with right now, to be honest. I'll keep it on, but... It seems more of a... It's more of a satin compared to, like, this one, you know? This is more satin. This is clearly a more metallic type. I'm not going to put anything in my lower lash line because I am lazy. My crease looks really bad. Hold on. Taking a little bit of, uh... I'm just gonna call it wrapped, waft. Try to like diffuse this a little bit. I've been having a hard time going ham with my crease shades, like so their shapes look weird. Honestly, that might just be the best. It kind of looks like I got hit though. I'm gonna add in a little of pie to fix it, that purple. I 
I don't know, I kind of just feel like I'm brushing everything away. I need to stop looking at Tipsy on my lid because I really am not, it's, it's not exactly what I was expecting. There's 11 pressed pigments in this palette. Surprises me, but doesn't surprise me. And so yeah, this is the third look. I wish Tipsy was a little bit more bold, but it's not too shabby at all. So yeah, um, overall, not too bad of a palette. But like I said, I don't think you need this palette if you have similar color stories. I didn't, so I'm okay with it. And I do really like the reds in here. I really like all of the red shades in here. And I actually, I really like liquor. So, yeah. That's my overall opinions. I will be ranking this at the end of the year with all the other palettes that come into my life this year, as always. Um, so, yeah. If you enjoy me or you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that jazz. And peace out, Girl Scout.